Now I'm going to talk about how to form the reported past tense in Turkish. The reported past tense is sometimes known as the narrative past tense or the inferential dubitative. Basically, the reported past tense is the tense that you can use in Turkish to describe events which you're not entirely certain actually occurred that you didn't see for yourself, that you have some doubt about, that happened far away and long ago and you weren't there. So, for example, let's say you want to say the sentence Nilay, a Turkish woman's name, went to Ankara. Nilay Ankara Turkish word for to go is gitmek, git well, will we use the reported past tense or not? If you were with Nilay when she went to Ankara, you sat next to her on the bus, you know she went, you can say Nilay Ankara gitti using the definite past tense. You know she went to Ankara, you were there too. But if you've only heard a rumor that Nilay went to Ankara, you haven't spoken with her yourself, you don't really know she went, you just think she did, then you, that would be a case where you could use the reported past tense. So, Nilay Ankara git mish. Now, we can translate the reported past tense into English as in a case like this as, apparently Nilay went to Ankara. I've heard that Nilay went to Ankara. It's said that Nilay went to Ankara, but you're distancing yourself from the event. You're not absolutely certain. That's why it's sometimes called dubitative but we'll call it the reported past tense. Let's see how to form it. It's actually quite simple. We'll use as our example, our first example verb, the verb gitmek, to go. We'll start with ben. Ben, git. Now we'll simply choose the appropriate form of the reported past tense suffix according to the rules of four-way vowel harmony. So ben git mish. And to this reported past tense suffix, we'll add the appropriate, excuse me, we'll add the appropriate personal suffix. According to the rules of four-way vowel harmony. So ben git mishim. Now, you may be wondering, why would you use the reported past tense for the first person singular? Apparently I went. Well, you'd use this, ben git mishim, for example, if you were describing a journey made when you were a baby and you don't really, rem you don't remember it at all, but apparently you did go, your mother and father say that you did. Or if for some reason your memory was impaired, you have amnesia, apparently I went but I don't remember it. I have no direct knowledge that this event occurred. Let's continue. Sen, new singular, informal, git mish, and again, we're going to follow the rules of four-way vowel harmony, git mish sin. You apparently or reportedly went. O, git, Mish, and there's no third person singular uh, personal suffix that we're going to add. Oh, git mish, he or she or it apparently went. Biz, git mish is. We apparently reportedly went. I've heard that we went, but I don't remember, or I don't know for sure. Is you plural or you formal, git mish sinis. You plural or you formal apparently or reportedly went. And finally, onlar, they, git mish, they apparently went. Or we have the option of adding to git mish uh, the appropriate plural suffix according to the rules of two-way vowel harmony, so gitmishler, 
Onlar gitmişler. They apparently went. This, as I say, is optional. Now, I want to emphasize that although we are following the rules of four-way vowel harmony when we add the reported past tense ending, we don't need to worry in this case about any kind of buffer. So if the verb to which you are adding the reported past tense suffix ends in a vowel, you proceed exactly as usual. Let's just see how this works with the verb okumak to read. Oku is our verb stem. Oku mush um. I apparently read my Turkish book from front to back, but I don't seem to remember everything I read. Okumushum. Sen oku mush sun. You apparently or you reportedly read this. O okumush okumush. And we can stop. Biz oku mushus siz okumuş sunus and onlar okumuş or okumuş lar following the rules in this case with the plural suffix of two way vowel harmony and that's the reported past tense